Your soul shall be mine. Left juggler. All right. Knife Juggler always gets axed, but thus is the fate of Knife Juggler. Oh my gosh! Oh! No, 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 what am I doing? In my mind, the knife juggler was already gone. The kindness of Trump. He deserves. I'm making it more realistic because he should have opened with a fiery war axe. So since he didn't have it, I'm just making sure that the game is a little more fair for the purposes of stats. Yeah. I'm the Defender of Argus there. That, that basically counts as rescuing a card or two from me. Have you ever seen turn 3 BM before? That's how confident I am. How many more excuses do I have? I think that's good enough. I decided to sacrifice a uh card to the value gods in order to obtain my... to obtain Illidan and then coin Flame Imp. Yes. Okay. Almost. Almost. I almost thought about double trading there, but it doesn't make much sense. I've got the beast <clears throat> so many demons. Nice. I should have not put anything adjacent to the Void Caller because Power Overwhelming Void Terror is a very likely play I'm going to be doing soon. Um, under this setup, I can only either Void Terror the Void Walker to this side uh, or the uh, Mimp Game boss, which I don't want to eat. If he manages to, if he takes out the Void Walker, though, I'm kind of fair. Mm. Okay, this is actually not bad. Power overwhelming the Void Walker, Void Terra. Could alternatively implosion. Do I want to eat the egg? Nah, I'd rather keep it around for Brawl. It's kind of interesting. I don't want a 4-4. Four four. I'd rather have this 0-2. 
perhaps I should have given it a little more thought because I could have pushed in for if he doesn't have roll, I win the game if I get a 4-4. Uh, that would be 8-11, 15, 18, 19, 21. Right now I only have 8, 11, 14, 15, 17. No, because if he doesn't have Brawl, I almost certainly win either way. So we're good, I think. 8, 11, 14, 15 right now. Uh, though if I had even the egg, I'd just win right now. So I want to silence the Sludge Belcher. 8, 11, 14, 15, 17. I don't think it's worth silencing this. We're just gonna aim to win the next turn, I guess. This is kinda tough. Can't actually win the next turn. Hmm. I almost certainly played this turn wrong somehow. I'm just so focused on building the stickiest board possible. No, I think it's fine. It's an interesting way to have played, depending on the contents of, well, it's like, is it always right to play this way? The question, the answer would be yes, if I expect to always win every game, to win most of the games where it doesn't brawl, is that, that's a ground. That's fine. All right, I'm kind of desperate for him, kind of. It means he has no more burst, so we're kind of good. Kinda, kinda. I actually have to sacrifice this guy first if I want to buff the other one, so order is correct. And I guess I continue to uh, go for stickiest board NA. Do you have any thoughts on Dragon Control War? It's a fine deck. Four, five, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. That one extra card I drew him earlier, just drew into Brawl. Alright, well, at least the board was a little sticky. 4, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, I was just giving him a chance. For I am merciful. Okay, I have one, two, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve? That's good enough. Alright, thank goodness. Oh. Man, all those turns are this board controlling. Okay. I'm running into a lot of Zulok and Face Slash Midrange Hunter in the rank I'm at. What deck would you suggest for me to counter them with? I'm bitter. Uh, it turns out that Face uh, Hunter deck counters two of the decks listed and ties with one of them. So that seems like a good place to go. Abusive, Knife Jaguar... Eh, alright.
All right. Coin unstable ghoul. Interesting. So his unstable ghoul and fire war axe basically trade against my two minions. That's uh that's okay. Obviously a patron warrior. I guess I'll play both. I had to uh do that first. Next turn, I'm very likely to just play this Doom Guard, but not guaranteed. <sighs> Sylvanas, it's not that great in this matchup. And I will kill this guy off. Oh, nice. Okay. And I believe that will cause a loss. Doomguard! Yeah, that, that's... that's fine. That's pretty good. Uh, it's okay. It was average. It would have been above average if I had a demon. And we're about to get wrecked. Perhaps. No, well, not that wrecked. That's really interesting. Maybe I have a chance here. Probably not. But it is possible for the cards in his hand to be tremendously bad. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a good card. And we're dead. Alright. Imp King boss, keep or pass? Eh, pass. Disaster. Mm. Whoa. The light protects me. An aggressive uh, Paladin deck. It's actually a really good matchup for me, but my hand is terrible. Wow. Get in there and fight, maggot. Oh my gosh. I was thinking, like, the Divine Favor doesn't normally be good in any way, but disaster here. Um, yeah, this is pretty rough. Pretty terror. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could have died if I didn't taunt. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can actually clear the board. That is definitely something. Choices. Implosion, Flame Imp, Implosion, No Flame Imp, Void Collar, Flame Imp, Void Collar, No Flame Imp. Uh, it's gonna be Implosion and Flame Imp. And it's going to hurt. But... That's life. Four, di four health, eight health, it's about the same. Dude, yeah, true silver dealing eight. I get Defender of Argus, but he's probably got equality. Mm. Four two zero, clear board. Good luck. Unlikely to have anything happen, but who knows? In some worlds, his hand is so bad with seven cards that he can't win from this position. In some worlds. Disaster. <sighs> Disaster. Hmm, I'm not dead. Uh, the Consecration is lethal, and he might have it. We need to tap and- oh. Uh, let's start. Good news, no fiery win X. Let the pain speak to me. Okay. It's ye old patron warrior deck. Tough choice. The opponent's third turn wasn't that inspiring. It's not that good. But. Ugh. Things are still kind of scary. No way I can actually save the Haunted Creeper. Gets value out of killing the Haunted Creeper some days. He even plays a Grim Patron with it, and then I'm super sad. But if he doesn't play a Grim Patron with it, I'm not that sad. We are not that sad here. There's two turns before the get in here is arrive. Um, possibly I'm supposed to not play Imp Gang boss. Yeah. None of my, uh, but Void, yeah, I'll have an Imp Gang boss out. But possibly I'm supposed to kill off my Imp Gang boss on his Sludge Belcher. Hmm. Hmm. 
Next turn is going to be insane. Disaster. Could I possibly live in a world where this isn't disaster? No, there's no world. Might have missed lethal. So I just need 13 damage. Missing lethal is not a big deal there by him. It's freeze mage. Could be freeze mage. It's not freeze mage. Tilted to the point where I'm going to play bad, but I am facing the frustration right now. Did we? Wow. Hmm, there's Shadow Flame. Puts me down to nine. It's a total disaster. Everything is disastrous. Eh, it's okay. 
I mean, it's not okay, but it's okay. Hello. 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 Six damage. One, five, ten, eleven, thirteen. So I obviously must um, kill some things. Oh. Mm. No, this makes more sense. Board is so sticky. Something needs tinkering. Oh, we've got some life in us. That's a very exciting card. So basically, what I all I do now is race him. If I simply heal, I go up to six. The frostbolt would take three turns. The question is, do I tap? I think the answer is yes. If I tap, I lose to a top deck frostbolt fireball. Fireball, either one, which I obviously, which obviously either one is good. Uh, either one would have been played before. I think I just need that extra pressure. And I, I dig towards Antique Hillbot, more importantly. Go. Five seven or five eight, um, but I have seven. Three five nine, put him down to wow. I am the favorite to win right now. What a surprise! Always lucky. Always lucky. Oh my gosh! I win. Unbelievable! What? Oh! Oh! 